Good morning, everyone. Let's make today a great day, Panthers. What's up, SMS? Good morning, Panthers. Good morning, SMS. Good morning, Panthers. Have a good day. Good morning, SMS. Good morning, Panthers. Hey, guys. Good morning, Panthers. What's up, Panthers? Morning. Have a good day. Good morning, family. My name is Brennan. Hey, Panthers, and I'm Abigail. Today is Wednesday, March 6th. Today is an 8 day. Today's wind time is 8 a block 1. Please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. Please remain standing for the moment of silence. I, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag of the United, United States of America, of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The weather for today will be mostly cloudy. The high temperature will be 64 degrees. There's an 80% chance of rain today. The moon phase is a waning canvas. Happy birthday today to Miss Cox. According to National Today, today is National Oreo Day. Today we celebrate America's number one cookie. And good cookies stem from the classics. In fact, one of our absolute favorites is a time on, timeless classic, the Oreo. With crisp chocolate cookies and creamy filling, these little cookies have captured our hearts and our stomachs. The Oreo was first introduced in 1912, and it has been the best-selling cookie in America ever since. We love to dunk them, twist them, and straight up take a bite. Here's to the delicious Oreo. Library Bingo and Comedy Wildlife are due March 29th to Miss Hammer. Congratulations to Grant Brooks and Het Pruitt for being February Library Bingo winners and Ken Stafford for winning February Comedy Wildlife. Reminder, charge those computers each and every night. Here's another reminder to make sure to keep AirPods out of your ears when in the hallway. The Beta Club will meet tomorrow after school from 2.45 to 3.45. The ASL club will meet today after school from 2.45 to 3.30 in the art room. Yearbook club will meet tomorrow after school in C111. The SMS yearbook is on sale. The cost is $35 and orders are due April 15th. Eighth graders, please turn in some of your baby pictures to Miss Hamrick by email or by physical copy. Dogman pre-order payments are due to Miss Hamrick March 13th. The cost is $14.99. Online payments are also accepted. Beta Club is hosting an Easter basket donation drive. They'll be collecting items through March 15th. Items that are needed are soaps, bathroom toiletries, games, gift cards, socks, and candy. And Spring Fling is coming up. This will be an outdoor event for anyone who misses one or less days of school between February 29th and March 28th. If you don't have plans for spring break, you can join the Spring Break Clubs. Be sure to see the Panther Press for registration. Okay, when art entries are due March 22nd. Today's Panther Spotlight is Jordan Johns. He was nominated by Mr. Galt because he always keeps a positive attitude and supports his classmates. Let's see what the cafeteria will be serving for lunch today. Today is What's Up Wednesday. Let's watch a trailer on the new Wicked movie that comes out in November. The best way to bring folks together Something has changed within is to give them a real good anime. <gasps> You're green. I am. Something is not the same. Something just takes over me. And when it does, bad things happen. Once you learn to harness your emotions, Guys, the limit. Bring to me. Don't be afraid. I'm not afraid. It's the wizard who should be afraid of me.
Hi everyone, it's Miss Hamrick. Good morning. I want to tell you about our bulletin board for this month. So we are going to be combining two of my personal favorite things, which is March Madness basketball and my love of reading. So we have put those together to create book madness. And March Madness, in case you do not know, refers to the National College Basketball Tournament. It takes place in the month of March and teams are selected and then advance to the rounds until there is one winner standing. I hope that SMS will participate in book madness, but instead of basketball teams, we will vote on books. There are 16 teams of books and that vote will first determine the elite eight and then we will vote again to determine the final four and again until we have one book left standing as our ultimate winner or champion. You do not have had to read these books in order to vote. Most of them are familiar books or authors or series that you have seen. I also chose a variety of genres. So if you have not read them, you can vote based on the cover or interest or popularity, but you do not have to read them in order to vote. So let's see what book will be our winner, and I hope that you enjoy voting throughout the month of March and seeing the progress of our bracket. And you should be able to vote through your English class, but if not, please stop by the library and I'll be sure to email you a form so that you can participate. And I will also update the status of our voting and our bracket on the morning show. And by the end of, month, by the end of March, we should have a winner. See you soon. And that's the Panther Report for today. Please recite the School Central with me. Today we will walk the Panther way. We will show kindness, earn respect, take responsibility, be of service, and work as a team. Have a great day, family, and don't forget to walk the Panther way every day.